Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today's news is Microsoft's March Patch Day. If you're in information security, you know the drill. The second Tuesday of the month is Patch Day, and this month's Patch Day is pretty humongous with 14 security bulletins, five of which are rated as critical and the rest as important. There's way too many different updates to go into, but generally the updates fix flaws in Windows, Internet Explorer, Office Components, the Exchange Server, and VB script. Let me give you the big highlights. First of all, remember Freak? You probably do because I've been talking about it a lot. Well, the good news is this month Microsoft fixed it for Windows, so you can fix that SSL man in the middle flaw. On top of that, do you remember Stuxnet? This, of course, is the big sophisticated nation state malware that came in 2010. Well, Stuxnet was known for using four different zero day vulnerabilities, including one flaw that involved link files, which are shortcut files files in Windows. And Stuxnet used this link vulnerability to pass over USB storage devices. Well, everyone believed that Microsoft uh, fixed that zero-day vulnerability way back in 2010. It turns out the flaw wasn't completely fixed, and one of the updates today, specifically MS-15020, does complete that old Stuxnet fix. Besides those two big highlights, there were plenty of other critical vulnerabilities. The traditional cumulative Internet Explorer patch, which fixes lots of vulnerabilities back bad guys can use in drive-by download attacks. On top of that, Exchange server administrators should know about the important Exchange update. Among other things, it fixes four cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. If a bad guy can get one of your Outlook Web Access users to click a link, he can essentially gain access to that Outlook Web Access user's account. Anyways, those are just some Microsoft Patch Day highlights. If you want more information, be sure to check out our blog post on the subject. By the way, good news for some of you uh, WatchGuard users out there. We also released a whole bunch of IPS signatures to uh, protect you from many of the vulnerabilities disclosed today. So even though I recommend you patch them as soon as you can, our IPS will help close the vulnerability window if it takes you a while to test and deploy all these updates. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.